I would like to thank all the police for coming over here today to recognize Senate Bills 278 and 279 to help benefit those with autism or any communication impediment that people with autism strive to have is better interaction with police officers for when they have sensory overload stimulation. What it does is it allows parents or relatives with somebody that has autism to uh, register their vehicles so that officers are aware before they have that interaction. It gives them a, uh, an awareness and allows them to be prepared for um, maybe non-traditional responses from a driver and it, it gives them a better understanding of why they're giving the responses that they are, be it sensory overload or, or not understanding the whole reason for why they're actually being stopped. So we come across so many different people on a daily basis. The more we're educated, the better we're able to provide services to people in general. And I think this legislation does just that. It helps us become more aware and more educated by identifying you know, people by their plates that they might suffer from aut autism in some way, shape, or form. I'd like to special thank Senator Tom Barrett for helping me out a lot with getting these bills passed into law. We worked on policy together uh, for autism advocacy, of course, that's very important to him and very important to all of us, but Xavier's kind of been on the leading edge of advocacy for those with autism who may not be able to advocate for themselves as effectively. Uh, many of our, our employees, our officers and staff have children on the spectrum and they have been championing this cause for, for a few years. And so we really appreciate all that Xavier has done. The more information an officer has when they're making initial contact, the better, the safer the interaction, the more effective they're gonna be at doing their job, and the more satisfied that the interaction with the, the customer, the person that they're having it with. It doesn't necessarily even have to be traffic violation or any kind of violation. It just could be some sort of interaction then, and the officer is aware that the person has autism, they're better prepared to interact with that person and make it a more satisfying both sides of the uh, interaction. It's only going to help us be able to provide better services and more importantly be able to communicate appropriately with people.